What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to try to catch hermit crabs, snails, and even some ghost shrimp. To clean up this algae problem we have going on in the tank. It's not really a problem, there's just a little in this one area because these lights are very performance lights, so they, they're very bright basically, so they'll create a lot of algae. That's why we need the hermit crabs, the snails, and the shrimp. Because the snails and the hermit crabs will dig through the sand, kick all that up, and then it'll get filtered out into the sun right here and then it's gone and the snails actually also suck on the glass and eat the algae off the glass and the rocks so these things are very beneficial for the aquarium so we're gonna head to this spot we're actually meeting up with chad and we're gonna catch some hermit crabs snails and ghost shrimp as you guys just saw there's a lot of algae starting to grow on the sand of the aquarium that's why we are here with my buddy Chad, as you guys saw in a bunch of other videos, he's always coming to help us out. And we are going to be catching micro hermit crabs and micro snails for the aquarium to clean up the sand, the rock. The snails eat the algae. The hermit crabs stir up the sand so it can get filtered out and everything. We're going to be trying to find as many snails and hermit crabs as we can. So over here on these big, large pieces of wood, a lot of snails and hermit crabs are attracted to it because it's hiding places and stuff like that. And as you see right in here, look how many snails and hermit crabs are inside this. Ready? I'm just going to take a handful. Ready? Watch this. Oh my gosh. There's so many. I can't even grab them. There's so many. We're looking for a specific kind of hermit crab. The one with the blue legs. I'm not sure the exact name. All I do know is that they do have blue legs. Let's see. So basically, we're just going to look inside, see if they have blue legs. This guy right here does have blue legs. This guy does too. And these are the ones you want for your aquarium. So I'm just going to keep them right here. And then once we get like a dozen, we'll put them in there. And these guys benefit the tank insanely. They keep it like a natural ecosystem. They clean it and it just goes through cycles. They're awesome. So basically we got a couple hermit crabs right now. And look at them, they're all coming out right here. Look at how sick that is. They're all moving around on my hand. Getting starting to poke out. We're gonna add these couple of hermit crabs to the bucket. The snails are a little harder to find. Chad's actually over there catching live shrimp. If you get this video to 10,000 likes, we are going to be catching live shrimp and feeding our lionfish, our puffer fish, our eel, and our bumblebee grouper the live shrimp we catch. Get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll go and do that. So right here, I just noticed on this tree, there's a bunch of these little snails. You can actually see them right there, he's coming out. Look how cute that is. And these guys also do benefit the tank. They clean the glass, they clean the sand. And yes, they do reproduce a lot, I already know that. But my plan is once they do reproduce, I'll take a couple out and release them back into the water. Basically, I'm just gonna control the population in my tank of how many snails there are. So once I see a lot, I'll take a couple out, release them back over here. We're gonna get some more. I would say about maybe seven more, and then we're gonna bring them back to the bucket. So as you can see, they're all along this tree. So when it's high tide, these snails come onto this tree, they suck on it, and they just, they're just they suction cupped on it. And then the tide gets really low, and they get stuck up here. And guys, I know you're probably thinking, oh, don't take them from the wild and all that. But honestly, they're going to a great home where there's a lot of algae in the tank. They get to eat whenever they want. When they're here, the tide gets low, and they're out of water. In my house, there's no tide in the tank, so they're always gonna be in water, and they'll live a great life, and I'll make sure they do. Look at the color on this one's shell. That thing is sick. Notice how this one has like a darker shell. This one has like a little pattern and that's so sick. Look at him, he's coming up. Oh, back in his little shell. And he comes out, back in his little shell. Like I said before, these things are gonna help stir up the sand a little. They'll move through it. And then all that algae and stuff will be lifted up from the sand and get filtered out. So this is actually one of the shrimps I was talking about that we're gonna feed to the lionfish and bumblebee grouper and all the other fish in the aquarium. Chad actually just caught this guy, and they're little ghost shrimp. They're tiny. Oh, look at this one. Is that a snail? Yep. This is a different species of snail. It's more of like a round shell. It's pretty larger than the other ones, but yeah, that's a type of snail right there. Let's see the bottom of him. We're definitely gonna put this guy in the aquarium. Right here, I just saw a crab. He's right here. Get him, Nick. I'm scared. No, don't be scared. He won't bite. Grab him. Quick. Oh, oh. and look. He ran away. Got him. 
Yeah, he's biting the crap out of me. No. Yeah, he's biting the crap out of me. Ow. He's got some gnarly claws on him. Look at him. That thing's sick. Yo, can this go in the tank? What is this? What is this? Oh, he's a land crab. So actually, they don't live fully underwater. So we're not going to add him to the aquarium. Pretty cool crab, though. Spotted him in the corner of my eye. Look at him. He's just gnawing on my finger right now. We're going to release him right where he just was. Here he goes. Oh, oh, go. Oh, and Chad just spotted out another snail. Look at this. Oh, some big snails on here. Look at that. Look at those. So we got another one of these little fat snails, as you saw before. This is our second one of this species. We're going to add him to the bucket so he can go in his new home. And he has a lot of buddies, so don't worry. These things have a lot of friends. There's like seven snails, ten hermit crabs. So they're definitely not lonely. <laughs> Oh, oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> hey, buddy. Jeez, I'm is, This isn't a fish. No. Wait, what? Oh, oh. 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 maybe. Come here, buddy. Dude, I'm starting to get very mad. I think Chad's on them right now. Let's see what you got. Come on, Chad, we're cheering for you. Not the biggest one, but it's still one. That's a much bigger one. Look at him right there. You see they're on these docks and stuff because a lot of algae grows on docks and stuff and rotten wood. We need these invertebrates to clean up our tank. Once Chad gets into a zone, he does not stop. Look at him. He's so <laughs> concentrated right now. I'll say Chad like five times and he won't even hear me. Ready? Chad. 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 Yo, man. Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to catch you. <laughs> see, what I'm, see what I'm talking about? He gets in these zones and he's... He'll be out. We can, we can come back two hours later and he'll be in that same spot looking for a shrimp. I'm not kidding you. We got all our invertebrates right here, hermit crabs, snails, and even micro shrimp. We're going to be heading back to the house right now and adding them to our aquarium. Huge shout out to the man himself, Chad. His Instagram, like I said before, is popping up right here. Hey man, I got for another him. one. See what I mean? He's, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's head back to the house. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? We're back at the house. We got the job done, as you saw. We got our hermit crabs. Our ghost shrimp and snails in the bucket right here. You're actually probably wondering where I got this puffer fish from. He's sitting right here. Um, Paul actually, we did a spin the wheel challenge and it landed on that. And Paul doesn't have a saltwater aquarium. I do. So he had to go get me one. So we got a new little puffer fish and he's awesome. I mean, he gets along with the bumblebee grouper, the lionfish. They're about all the same size. So it's perfect for them. That's not what the topic is about. It is about these hermit crabs, shrimp, and snails. What do you think first, Chad? The snails? Yeah. All right. Me and Chad are just gonna pick up some snails. There's two of the biggest ones. They're actually attached to, <laughs> ha, they're attached to their buddy. I'm just gonna drop them in. If they're flipped over, they'll know how to turn their self back. Drop them. No, you know not to eat that. Don't try, see, you get scared of them. They're they're just crawling crawling around. Hey, stay away from that lionfish. Ooh. They're he's looking like he's, he's eyeing them out. No. No, see, they know. They know. Yeah. Heck, heck. Once they get used to it and know that these are not food, which they will because it's like, it's basically like a rock. And they don't want to eat a rock. So they'll, they might nip at it, spit it back out, and then realize it's not food. So yeah, basically that little hermit crab right there is just going to kick up the sand, stir it up a little, and also eat that algae. Then it will get filtered into the sump and then clean our aquarium up. And that's just part of the aquarium. That's the cycling basically going on. It's just like ponds. You'll have your first stage of algae, then it'll get clean, then it will have another stage of algae, and then it will be clear. So that's just how it goes. It's the same thing with the aquariums. So you guys see the little orange spots right there? That They're actually cleaning it right now. They're sucking all that stuff up, and they're doing their job. That's why we put them in there. And Chad, now what is the name of these hermit crabs? Do you know? Blue-legged hermit crabs? Blue-clawed hermit crabs. Prime. Now, what you guys been waiting for? Time to add the shrimp. Now, yes, you're probably wondering, will they get eaten? Some of these might get eaten. Yes, that's just how it goes. But they're very small and fat, so a lot of them will get away in the rocks and hide and clean underneath the rocks and stuff where the bigger fish can't get. But yes, I'm sure one or two of them will get eaten. That's just how it goes when you have a cram with smaller invertebrates cleaning up your tank. Some shrimp going down to the bottom right there. Look, see? And those guys will find a little hole now and escape the bigger fish. 
Anyways, guys, that is all we got for you today. We got our hermit crabs, snails, and our ghost shrimp in the aquarium. They're going to do a great job cleaning this thing up. I hope so, at least. And like I said before, big shout out to Chad for helping us with this video today. I'm looking forward to seeing how these things do, honestly. I mean, you think they'll clean up the tank? Oh, yeah. It already looks like they've started to yeah, in, their, in the middle there. Work together working. Yep, that's good. Cleaning it up. And the fish are behaving, not eating our hermit crabs or the shrimp. So like I said before, guys, if you want to see a video of us catching or even buying some big shrimp like this big to feed to our fish, get this video to 10,000 likes. With that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next one. See you!